third fiddle up here. You know, I, I play with a group out of Jackson Hole, Wyoming called the Bar J Wranglers, and uh, there's a guy in our group named Brian that's, uh, uh, he's kind of an oddball, and I told him, I said, hey, this year in the show, I want to play a cross-tuned number on a cross-tuned fiddle. So this is a cross-tuned fiddle. It's tuned completely different than a regular violin, and I told him, I said, it's tuned to, a, to an acorn. And he said, how do you tune to an acorn? <laughs> and I said, it's tuned to A chord. And he said, well, which one? So we, we kind of had a little who's on first deal going. That, uh, but it is tuned to an A chord. And, uh, and this kind of tuning is actually, uh, um, it, it's been around a long time, years and years ago, uh, particularly when a fellow might have a violin out. Maybe he's settled in the West or... or or, or doing something like that anyway, out away from everywhere, and he's got a violin, he has no idea how to tune it, because the, the, the notes on a violin are not tuned to any particular chord. And, but this is, and so I think that's how this kind of tuning was developed. They, they call it Black Mountain tuning, and so I thought it might be a good idea to play the Black Mountain Rag. <laughs> 